Keep it clean. Don't worry. I'm going to let you get back to the playoff game in a couple of minutes. I I'll be brief because this was brief, but these boys said a lot uh, in a short amount of time about how they feel about Lamar Jackson. So as you watch this playoff game on Fox, um, like a little bit before I started recording, Brock Purdy just hit Christian McCaffrey for a wide open touchdown. Uh, and then a few plays before that, Christian McCaffrey broke for like 60 some yards. But anyway, you're watching this game on Fox. But before the game started, on Fox, we had the likes of a Michael Vick, we had a Sean Payton, we had a Charles Woodson, and they were talking about Mr. Lamar Jackson, who's been the subject of conversation recently a lot, a whole lot, and obviously because he's Lamar Jackson, he ain't just any average NFL player, he's Lamar Jackson, but they were talking about his tweet where he let everybody know, like, hey, I want to be out there. He let everybody know how his injury is doing, that's still swollen and whatnot. So he's not fully recovered yet. But there have been a lot of people that just really ain't been buying it. And there have been a lot of people that just ain't been feeling it. And there have been a lot of people that have been saying a lot of stuff about that. But Sean Payton, he started off, he just said, I, I don't like it. I don't like it. And he said they're in a playoff game, and I'm hearing grumblings that their teammates who feel like his recovery process is taking longer than expected. Now, with that, because um, that, that could mean, like, so many different things. I'm hearing teammates saying there's, there's grumblings that teammates are frustrated that his recovery process is taking longer than expected. Is it because, well, maybe his body didn't respond the way that they hoped it would? Okay, that's one thing. Or they think that it's, it's on him. That could be another thing. That was just, it was very, very vague. But anyway, um, and then again, he said, I just don't like it. So Sean Payton let us know he, more than one time, I just don't like it. Uh, and he said the, the, the team's more important right now than you. We appreciate the information on your injury, but I don't see him back in Baltimore. So that last part about Lamar not being back in Baltimore, that's I don't think that's a big deal. But um, I just, Sean Payton tried to make it like Lamar was trying to make it all about him. That part, I just, I really didn't get. Now, if somebody saw that, saw this whole thing on Fox, and they didn't really have the context of everything that's been going on with the Baltimore Ravens, then they could take that and run with it and be like, oh, man, yeah, Lamar's a selfish guy. He just, he's a narcissist. He wants it all to be about him. That's why he put that, out, that information about his injury out. Uh, but if you knew the background story, what's actually going on, you'd be like, oh, OK, <laughs> I've been waiting on some information about his injury because we ain't been hearing nothing about it from anybody, especially the people who are supposed to know about it. So anyway, um, it's, it's, it's a nasty game, baby. It's a nasty game out here. Remember when Sean Payton just a few weeks ago? He was talking, because, hey, things could change quick. But Sean Payton was talking about, well, hey, I might be a free agent. Lamar might be a free agent. We might be in free agency together. He was over there trying to trying to flirt with free agency, with Lamar's free agency. And it's like now it's like, oh, I don't like it. But anyway, anyway, Charles Woodson. Charles Woodson said, if this team was 2-15, and 15, I could see him, Lamar Jackson, not trying to come back. It just seems like we all play this game to try to win the Super Bowl. That's the goal. So, Charles Woodson, through his words, he was implying that someone seemed like he was implying that Lamar sort of quit on the team. Yeah, and, and he he and he also implied that it's just business. It's it's about the contract. But let's continue. He also said, uh, "Yeah, the Super Bowl is the goal. And if you got a team that's good enough to get to the playoffs, uh, and then Charles Woodson said he doesn't know if he, as Charles Woodson, would be brave enough to do what Lamar Jackson is doing." Uh, he said, but kudos to him in, in, a, in a sarcastic way. Uh, and then he said, uh, he's about his business and he feels they don't want to pay him. So, and that was that. So, Charles Woodson let it be known that he thinks it's all about the money. But it should be about the team. Uh, and then Michael Vick, who is, ain't he Lamar Jackson's mentor? Did he quit that job? Did, did he retire? I, I don't know. But anyway, Michael Vick, who has dealt in his career dealt with a lot of injuries a whole lot of injuries but he said you're three games away put a brace on it put a brace on it Lamar put a brace on it strap up the brace and go play he ain't say that part but he did say put a brace on it he said um and then Charles Woodson said it's hard to say that if, if he's really hurt I don't know the extent of his injury so it's like they they said they said everything. All three of them said all this stuff 
And then Charles Woodson come and then he tried to put that in. Well, we don't know the extent of his injury. So it's hard to say just put a brace on it. It's like you just finished saying all this stuff, but now you want to say you don't know the extent of his injury. That's what this whole tweet was about. That's what the whole segment was about. Him letting the world know the extent of his injury. But anyway. Um, and then Vic said, I played a whole season on a sprained MCL. I don't think he did really good that season. <laughs> I really don't. Uh, but anyway, and then Peyton said, with a lower body, with a lower body injury, he's going to be in the press box. He's not going to be on the field for me. So, um, again, it, it seems like the NFL world, a lot of them are just turning on Lamar. And they almost painting a picture, making him the bad guy. Um, now, uh, it seems like a lot of people have a uh, they don't have good memories um, because it's funny when when it's to somebody's benefit, when they talk about Lamar Jackson possibly getting hurt. That's when they want to use RG3 as an example. When they talk about when Lamar is healthy and the Ravens call the running player, Lamar takes off. If Lamar is running the ball and Lamar is healthy, that's when a lot of people want to use. Oh, hey. He's going to be like RG3. He's going to get hurt running the ball. But then when he actually is hurt and he actually is injured, then everybody forgets about RG3. Everybody forgets about it because RG3, I'm not sure if it was a PCL injury or not. It was a lower leg injury. But RG3, he in his rookie year, he led his team to the playoffs. But he got hurt. He got hurt against the Ravens. Lodi Nada. He got hurt. And he wasn't ready to come back. And I think the playoff game was against the Seahawks, who are on right now. I'm pretty sure it was against the Seahawks. But RG3 wasn't ready to come back. Washington, they were in the playoffs. And they're like, RG3, come on back, baby. He wasn't ready. If you watch the game, you could tell he wasn't ready. But they played him anyway. And what happened? Killed his career. Changed everything. Changed the trajectory of his career. The way he started, oh, man, his career was going like that. Then he got hurt. Rushed him back early. He comes back. It was over before it started. And RG3, he, yeah, he never got that, like, that real second contract. He obviously got second and third contracts and stuff because he played for the Browns. He obviously played for the Ravens. Um, am I missing anybody? But anyway, RG3 never got to really, his career never got to really take off like it should have. Like it started. It started off hot. But because of people being impatient and they rushed him back and that was it. That was it. Cam Newton, former MVP quarterback, former Super Bowl quarterback. Yeah, he didn't win. But again, that's another person who a lot of people, they love comparing Lamar Jackson to. Now, a lot of these comparisons are lazy now. They, they, they can be very lazy. But people love comparing Lamar Jackson to Cam Newton. Oh, yeah, he runs around. Oh, yeah, he can throw here and there, but he runs, does a lot of running a lot. Da, 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 da. You compare him to Cam Newton. But then a lot of people, again, they compare him to Cam Newton and say, oh, yeah, he's going to get hurt. Remember when Cam got hurt? Da, 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 da. But then and they do that before Lamar gets hurt, when he's healthy. But now Lamar's hurt, and everybody forgets Cam Newton. Cam Newton, um, he got hurt, and he, he, had a, uh, he had an injury in his shoulder. I, was it the rotator cuff? It was something in his throwing shoulder, his throwing arm. Came back too early. Guess what? He couldn't throw. Couldn't play as good as any anymore as he used to because he was still hurt. The Panthers rushed him back. He was not ready to come back. What happened? He was never the same. And then he ended up going to the Patriots. And then he ended up coming back to the Panthers again. But now he's it's almost like it's been a forced retirement because it ain't been nothing with Cam Newton. Nothing. Nothing. And then, again, Michael Vick. Like I said, with Michael Vick, he, he got hurt a lot. He got hurt so much uh, when he played in the league. So, I mean, but yeah, it is what it is, though, right? They want Lamar to go out there and put a brace on it because that's what you need to do. You're injured, and we want you to be out there playing. That's what you need to do for your team, for yourself, for everybody. 
Now, while we would all love to see Lamar Jackson out there, I guarantee you, I guarantee you, because I know it's a lot of fans and stuff that, hey, hey, Lamar needs to play, needs to play through this injury. I guarantee you, I promise you, that if Lamar went out there and he played and he, one, didn't look his normal self, he, two, didn't look as good as he normally does, or three, the worst one, if he went out there and got hurt all over again. So many people would be like, oh, I knew he shouldn't have played. I knew the Ravens shouldn't have rushed him back. Oh, I knew the Ravens should have held him out. I knew Lamar shouldn't have been in his game. So many people would do that. I guarantee it. So, it's hard. It is tough as a football fan, whether a Ravens fan or not, but as a football fan, as an analyst, as an expert, as a former player. It is tough to think about how this could impact the player for the long term. It's very hard to think that way. But it's very important that Lamar Jackson himself, it's very important that the Baltimore Ravens themselves, that everybody thinks about the long term effects too. Especially when this said team doesn't have the best track records for players returning from injuries. Do we need to remind people again? We talked about it in the video last night, but do we need to remind people again of Ronnie Stanley? Last year, came back, one gay. Ravens doctors cleared him. You're good to go, Ronnie Stanley. Go out there, have a great season. He played one game, looked terrible, never played a snap again that season. And even this year, he wasn't even all the way, all the way ready to play this year at the beginning of the year. So it's, what, what's that? J.K. Dobbins who missed the whole season last year, came back this year, Ravens doctor said, hey, J.K. Dobbins, you're ready to go, you're good to go, go out there and kill it, brother. I think they missed him for the first couple of games. Then when, even when he did come back, it was like, oh, okay, he, he looks straight, but uh, he look a little off. Had to have another surgery again. It's like, what? Rashad Bateman. Rashad Bateman gets hurt. In the walking boot. No, no, he'll, he'll be straight. He'll be fine. He, he's good. Boom. Oh, season ending injury. Oh, he, he, he's having season ending surgery. That's a wrap for Rashad Bateman. Oh, okay. Well, all right. All right. Okay. Okay. So it's like they, they don't have the greatest track record. They don't. But people want Lamar, the, the, the current franchise quarterback. We'll see if what happens in the future. But they want the current franchise quarterback. Hey, put on a brace. Go through. Go, go, go play. Come through and play. Play in that playoff game. And it, it is the playoff game. So I know it's obviously much different implications than a regular season game would be and would have. But he got much different implications too for his entire career.